Hello. You hear me? Yes. Yes. I haven't seen your space actually. No. I mean, no. I have never seen. Actually, it was the space where we see the the talk of the of this Mauro Marco. Marco, the, yeah. The Italians, yeah. Cool. And, so it's a ground floor. Yeah. And this is just the I was working with this at some point with these lights. Nice. There's two, there's two, two projectors that I'm actually I'm planning to use for sure. Like yeah. that is that one is projecting there. Yeah. And the other one is projecting in in that direction. Which I mean it's in Seoul. So and my mess, I mean I here have all the a lot of different hardware. Yeah. Yards and stuff. Yeah, I see. And yeah, things that I have not yet installed and yeah, I don't know. A lot. Nice. And so let's because I saw so like no also answer the email, but let's not maybe not talk on that like right now. Like uh, no. Let's focus on on, on this and, and, and trying to yeah. follow up the conversation because I think it was going somewhere. Yeah. And that would be Should we upload I checked this? The, uh the how was this it chat. Sorry. The video that you sent was like the practices yeah. every day over every day day life cooking. Yeah, from Navid, the cooking piece. Yeah. Um, what I found that is interesting, I mean, but I think it's relevant, like maybe that's why you said it is because it has this element of reality mm. that is reliable. I mean, that is not really complicated, it's like somebody just cooking. Yeah. So it's, it's easy to, from something that already is established and people can relate like everybody knows what is to cook then other things happening um so it it helps to norm <clears throat> to normalize <clears throat> the weirdness of i mean it, it doesn't seem so abrupt like the mm -hmm. well, i mean what i'm saying like the, the technology is fading yeah uh, yeah you don't have to understand it i mean you, you can but it's not like completely new reality and also what i think is really is that it's very clever because it's just really simple you know and it so it does the purpose like there is some basically some video effects on i mean there is a choreography for sure like so there's a choreography yeah there's a structure um and there is some video effects right so it's really simple in how it's presented uh also you know, like it's just a projection in the back, and so it's very clean in that sense. Um, yeah. which I think, like, that's the somehow at at this point, I feel that is what it stops me is that I feel that I need to use I don't know the robot lights that I have here, you know, like because uh, I have the space. Um, but if at the end the purpose is like the people have somehow something, the the I mean the, the the small or the minimal that could be presented. I mean, if it's for the purpose is to for the people to get something, <clears throat> what he's doing is very smart. I think. Yeah. It's more in that. And they, mind. and they eat afterwards. I I didn't <clears throat> I, I didn't the video show that I I I stopped at like one minute. No, I think uh, there's no like full video, but the idea is like after the show because he's actually a dancer and you know good at cooking. And this is actually a difficult thing when, so to, I think Tony, he was in the video and he had to like uh, join Cirque du Soleil or something. So they had to find a replacement dancer, but it was really difficult because it, he had like the, the dancer has to cook and like actually good at cooking. Well, yeah, that's pretty challenging. That's a bit of a stretch. Yeah. So it's no fake in that sense. So yeah, again, so again, you see like where, where I'm trying to find what I like to do, what did you put notes here? Like to do, do in the hybrid document? 
Yeah, I think I put it at the top. Is it synchronous? At the top? Maybe I need to refresh. Maybe. Actually, I don't know why I still kept it here. Yeah. Ah, yeah, okay. So this is a meeting. This is a this. space. Yeah, it has to be a little bit that we to put it up. Yeah, so this is again like that. There's a big, a huge point is like, which I think is interesting. Uh, and I think is value that gives a lot, of, brings a lot of value now. Is is this? idea of yeah the reality what is real like what do you define for mm -hmm. real yeah yeah you, you said that. um you know what i was thinking that was it's interesting and i feel that i think it, i think that we will we, we, we were ahead with what we were doing at, at the, with best practices especially when we start at some point at I, I remember that we have these conversations like i thought that we were ahead of something and mm -hmm. and now I see like there are things for instance like in transmediale like the new the, the the new take is the thing is called content content content. Okay. So, like and from at least from what I in my head or I don't know if I share it in these words but like what we were doing in a way was like not working on content but on the medium, and then the medium was giving the content because the right. problem. I mean that was one of the, one of the points that I developed in my in my thesis in the, in the in the in the school that it was not about normally that approach through the technology it was is high end and we approach it through doing from what we have yeah um yeah true I think we can see it in different ways like the way I see it is like like it's possible like now because the computers are good like 10 years ago probably it's not really possible and i mean also the available tools i mean 10 years ago it would have been very different or like we still had to develop something for ourselves but now we have a lot of tools that we can just download or we can go online and it works so we didn't have to this spend energy this, this thing that i told you is crazy like the the thing with the phone oh wow i didn't mm. know my phone doing that what it's like you see oh it's, it's, scan, the... it's scanning yeah it's, it's a scanning face i mean you like cannot see it like, what tricky motherfucker this is such a bad i mean the in terms of security is such a bad thing like that because everybody can just you know you you you're asleep and somebody just put your face I am. on the, and but they did it check pocket. if you're awake or not i don't think so wait okay, was this is like the same, same problem with the fingerprint right i know i think it needs my eyes open because wait show it to me You try it huh? without opening your eyes. Just show it to me. Then I can tell you if it's open or not. Or does it have to like you should like you have to keep looking or? I think you have to. No, it needs my eyes open. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. that was a problem with the fingerprint. The kids the want to it's like they bring a fucking finger and that's it. Yeah. 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 Kids want to you know buy some apps so they just bring it to uh, their parents napping. And this night get and the like fingerprint. <laughs> but it's crazy to see, like, I mean, this, like, the the possibility, like, what I was just, I, I was just trying that yesterday, like, in a flow of doing stuff. I mean, it. I was doing the things from this, uh, from the stream deck. Uh, it was, in, and it was working really well. Mm. Uh, then said, if you, if you are a guru and in in OBS on how to set up these streamings, then it's just like you're just basically tapping. Mm. 
Mm. You just I was very impressed how reliable was how stable was the the thing. I mean, for a fast run running out. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. I remember I tried it with a MIDI controller, but it didn't really. I wasn't really impressed, but I don't know. Maybe I have to like really configure it because you have to map the commands, right? Yeah. But then also you will be wired. Yeah, exactly. So it's really limited. It's more like, you know, having a station and, you know, just add some physical sliders to it in that case. Actually, you know what? Like one thing we did at the academy was um, there was like a WebSocket add-on, like plugin for OBS. So we actually hooked up the uh, flock, like live coding, like collaborative one, into OBS. So you write some command as JavaScript, and that triggers different camera on OBS. So with like from, small from code, Flock. you can hmm? from Flock. Flock, yeah. So, so the set camera Flock. zero, and then you know OBS sets camera okay. to the first one, and set camera one. I I, don't, I forgot the how function was named, but um, yeah, I think it was working. Yeah, we tried it. And just like, you know, Hydra, you have like an array that you can make a sequencer, like sequence of numbers. So we did like set camera array of, you know, zero, one, two, three, and then it just like goes through different cameras with a like two second interval or something. Yeah, like kind of like a live show. <clears throat> yeah. So it's like DMX, but with a camera. Yeah. I think now what I will do here is just like the I will just use this like the normal lights. I think those are cool. These are just profiles, like these are just normal yellow lights. Mm. Because I think today I will. I think I'll play a bit more with this. Um, but then I need uh, like to have a, a decent light because yesterday was, was just fucked up. So like, I guess okay. today I will ask to just put, uh, just light in all the spaces that the yellow light goes to all the spaces. Wait, so but before we left, then we, you were saying something that I thought was the OBS camera stuff. What? No, 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 no the, the last time. Uh, wait, what was it? That was so I was just looking for references, and uh, we were talking about you know like making the, those elements to make people somehow. You were talking about like I mean, I, I remember as a dramaturgy somehow, like that you were mentioning somehow, like, like there is this elements, but then somehow that there was. It should be some some relation between how to, or I remember in my head as some kind of like as as a dramaturgy. Yeah. So either like you make a dramaturgy, or people like people watching or interacting develop their own story, like practice, right? That's the thing. So you provide some elements that has that carries the story. But, but then the elements, but then these elements must be definitely clear. Like I mean, they ate the interaction of the elements that you propose should be somehow uh, afford certain things and not everything. Right. Um. And because that's the whole point always with interaction is that is and that's when you use the sign principle is that. You do, people are people, and you don't know how they're like they'll, they'll, they'll react, no? So then, right? Um, I 
Yeah. I mean, I kind of see it like my cards because, I mean, it's it's quite different, but the cards, like what I like about about it is like people go through and, you know, they find what's interesting to them. And that's like really but the way, yeah. No, please go on. Yeah. And then like sometimes like, you know, they talk, tell me like stories about that, like what they got from the card. You know, what's something they relate to me or my story, but it's their story they're telling. Okay. So this is, I mean, these are you're mentioning. This is, I think is relevant. I mean, connect something with, I have a problem with this, uh, but at the same time, wait, um, you are mentioning something that like in a conversation two days ago with Anton, we talked for quite some time. He was mentioning this um, perspective on immersion. Uh, by the way, like I think he's doing something interesting for the. He, he will present something here in the in the coming days, like in right. as part of this that I will not do. Um, and when I when I have the conversation with him, <clears throat> he said like I mean it's the first time that he was like really diving into virtual reality, so it was very interesting with the all the things that he has to say. Um, sorry. So one of the one of the things that he was saying that I that I was trying to mention is that. He was saying like this perspective of the immersiveness, like that in one hand you have this that is through augment, augmentation and acceleration, or or in the sense of like the most the more you give the uh, for senses to the people, the more they will have in their bodies, and then the other uh, through technology, but in the, also in the other spectrum you will have immersiveness uh that is more close to to evoke things which is close to what you're saying saying for instance like when you read a book you are immersed and you are in a virtual space you go to i mean it, it, it evokes things things on you that they are precious to you and are meaningful to you um and i'm relating this to what you're saying with the cards that yeah there is something that yeah the the with the the if the people find something they will stay there and and then becomes about them because I think that's a key like somehow in the experience like that it, it should be about them I think it should be about them like how to convert to converge uh immersiveness. So that the people get engaged, basically, because for the people to get engaged, um, they should find something. Yeah. Did you took any notes? <laughs> I just put. <laughs> I mean, it's actually it's recording. I mean, I'm writing, I'm taking notes, um, but also mercy. this is recording. So, and I was thinking like this chat maybe we can upload it. This is it. Yes, interesting. So if people like know like the now 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 it's in Japan and now yeah. we are trying to struggle and see what the fuck is gonna happen. <laughs> um okay. So but something that is for like uh, besides of anything is like that in, in the in the position that we are in the in the in the, in in what is happening right now, politically wise, but the projects is that there is no I don't see like there is a separation at all. Like because we cannot afford that anymore. Like the in in in, the, in both pro, I mean in in both projects the way when I started speaking, I started just seeing like as can like just this is just one thing. Um, that's the way who I perceive. Because it's, everything is just so. Anyway, this is just something that I was just thinking that that um. But like okay, let's just stay focused. Like not let's not. Debut and because also then maybe it then can be uploaded. Wait, so I said about immersive as in augmentation of senses. Then it's basically you show something to people, or how to say this like, you know what I'm trying to say that like so. Uh, what I found relevant of what uh, Anton was saying is that in one hand, then you have 
something that you are perceiving and then just you take and then it becomes a a, a discourse on technology and then and then just a, a race against technology basically they always you will be behind because always you're behind something i mean always you will be slow there was a new version every three months so if it's about immersive where you augment an experience for the people to take something uh, you always will be running there um uh, or rather than when so because basically you are what you you show something to them so it's for them to take something uh, what the other the other spectrum? You have something that is basically they share something with you through an interface that you propose. So it's an immersiveness that happens through evoking something that is personal to them. Right. Or it, 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 you basically think like I like that word that it's an immer immersiveness that happens through evoke you evoke something. Yeah. So that they can relate to their experience yeah. or story. Yeah. And that should be close. And that that you're evoking should be close to um, re reality, like a, a simple reality. <clears throat> you know, cooking, uh, your experiences <clears throat> of what you, uh, uh, when you're traveling, the, the, the experiences that you have in the last 10 years, like in the case of your cards, you know. Um, so it's, it are things that they are not. Yeah, there's not too much creativity in that. It's just like basically documentation. It's just stating facts where people can jump in. You know, it's not it's not uh, creating um, mm. a story where where I don't know when you're creating the story of the princess of a castle of I don't know like certain beings, aliens, or I don't know. You be super creative in. And in a way, like I was trying to think with the best practices, but the way we worked is like something that, you know, we don't, like everyone doesn't have to, you know, watch everything or doesn't have to agree with everything, but they just pick what's interesting to them. So it's like a preference, but also that's related to, you know, like preference come, comes from their experience and, you know, all these things. I mean, I, I think there is like a similarity to it because we produce okay. a lot of contents that, you know, they can say, I like this or I don't like this. Yeah. Because, so, I yeah. mean, something, yeah. something that is clear, like, to me, that is that, because I want to hear their voices. And this is something, I guess, that when, and then when I start thinking of, of, like, technology somehow comes through that in a way, like, I want them through, I want to hear their voices or there is an interface or if there is just a Google document or a poll or I just that there is uh I think I want to listen to them. I want to listen to what they have to say. Or I want that they what that, that the people should interact somehow. That they're, they're in, I mean if the things are running, the people are interacting somehow, so the because they're engaged, but that That we could use their engagement uh, as part of the output. Then and then that generates so basically it's like doing exactly what we do, but then with content. Then because here we start speaking about content, like or like yeah, this is about somehow content, and, and I don't see a different uh, what we do because then is what we normally do is. I propose a, a composition of my image. I send it to you. You use it in your composition. You send it back to me. And that fits mine and then keeps on going in this uh, feedbacks. And uh, we are feeding each other. Right. So in sense, it's connected to, I mean, that's the way who I see it. Um, but I guess more in a tangible way, like so more... Maybe that's why, because at some point I said, like, I remember when we, uh, in the way how we work is because we, we work with glitches that is really easy to block the, I mean, to just uh, 
use all like the, the buffer takes all the pixels. At some point, we have this conversation, but I, I was trying to share that that I guess how careful are you choosing? This is an analogy, no? Like in their practice, uh, in a matrix of a screen when how are you using the pixels you know like the, the decision of like painting if you see like the the screen as a grid are not passing so randomly as to, normally what i was trying to say is like in the best practices we we um don't uh, we i don't think we slow down in that in that point of we just are doing things but I guess what I'm trying to suggest is that I found interesting in order to talk about composition, dramaturgy, and content, basically, is that there is that there is more sense of yeah, like to be basically more like to to slow down the process and to privilege the negative space, basically, if that makes sense. I mean, or the blacks. Space. I mean, understanding from this grid that every pixel that you will paint, it now, I mean, maybe not every, but that the pixels now are painted somehow with a reason Doesn't, that could be rational or irrational, but more overall, so that is, um, is now actually involving other people, like say it with audience. There is an installation happening. There is there is something happening that evoke for people to interact with. And these interactions should be fitting the, the grid, these pixels, they should be adding color to the grid. That's an analogy. Okay. But like you're talking about like someone who's interacting or who's watching or is like a mass. I or can be both. We can be both. But in that sense, so I think that then then our role will be more so similar in a way how uh, the workshop in the sense of more like guiding and helping the people to get in there um, right. but also more to know where to cut it you know like this is something for instance that in, in our experiences like well, uh, the metal we ball get much into the practice and then the metal ball is passing next to the computer right <laughs> so I, I think this is part of also learning this that that it just demands that the the the, the the role that we are taking, it has more responsibility if you want, or it, it has just a different role where you are more guiding and actually you you are the only one, we are the only one who have, a, I mean, at least at this, in, in the way who I see it, um, because also it's an analogy, but could be could work also physically in, in, in developing something digitally. Um, that we are the only ones who have like the power of delete, that we are the delete button. Say it as a, as a, a, a grid that is, the buffer is full, that we are the only ones who understand now it must be deleted. Like it now needs to be reset again. Mm. Because we are sensible enough and understanding that it the cycle is passed and it needs that. It, it yeah. needs a refresh. Yeah. If that makes sense. Right. Yeah, I mean, I get that point, but mm, trying to think like, so are there like different ways they can interact? Like, so this, I guess this is like an analogy that you said about the pixels and like, what are the other other, but are there like different kind of stages, different mini games that they can play 
and then at one point you kind of clear it up and then provide something new or could be in like what i mean could be but because i think this one becomes tricky because if we if we especially when you when you speak about a crowd you know when big one is not one to one when it's not one to five is that to evoke something you need time and care basically you need to care for the person you need to give time um yeah. right yeah so that yeah Hmm. it's basically i mean i'm saying just like as an analogy but i think this this is i think i'm 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 start seeing that in, in in this conversation i start seeing somehow like that this idea of a gesture that passed through reality or passed through uh uh sigil symbols or rituals um it really it, it really softened the landing on on something that is technology technological yeah, yeah. um but it's so it's tricky because it as as we said for instance one of the points is like um if you have 50 people you cannot allocate time to each of them to to really listen to their story of their grandma for instance um but what if somehow this is an analogy no? like that you have 20 people because also like then I can I can propose also like maybe just parkours of 20 people. Um we can propose that parkours also. Like then that you understand somehow that so you're giving you're giving time to the person, like so you're trying to invoke something to the person. And once you start seeing that the person is, I mean, there is something that you can use, like let me try to like put it like this. So we're trying to extract from interviews pixels to paint a matrix that is behind, a screen that is behind with a matrix. And we are trying to take color and colorful uh, interactions from the interviews that we have. Um, so if I start talking with you um, in the interview and I see that you are engaged and then I already have a pixel that I can put there. So I do it. Somehow I let you go, but uh, you should not feel that I'm just letting pass you, you know, that you should feel acknowledged and you should not feel that I just need to go for the next one, but I need so, but, the, but I need to go for the next one. So, I mean, what I'm right. trying to share is this is the problem that we need to find way how and this is like an analogy in this but it should this is like in technology also i think it should it will pass like that that and i don't think i don't think it's a problem of technology but it's a problem of the structure so and 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 i see like that this could be interesting um because the starting point this is a virtual reality but uh it's connected with a problem of with technology in general like that uh, they're not understanding something that um, allocating space and care for people to hearing each other. Um, so to mediate between technology that is really fast um, and is just keeps on going fast and humans who wants to be acknowledged and care that that demands time and is are completely different uh, directions like. Yeah, technology does, does I see it like a fire or air, and then like that talking with somebody or evoking something more about earth, um, or being mm. fluid with water. Is that is it different things, but I think what I was trying to say is it. Because it's related with how to use the technology that maybe the technology could be used like as a, like the 
to to reflect basically the immersion basically of the person it sounds again i think it sounds contraintuitive in the sense that what you're seeing as somebody who's in, in the, as the person who is in my, in, in my inter, in my interview is like i'm showing you that i care for you i'm your psychologist or i'm your <clears throat> lover or i'm something somebody who care about you or i'm giving you my time for you <clears throat> but i have a task which is capital or which is uh technological or coal i'm trying to separate this in a big way like a, just as an analogy i just need to take something from the interaction with you um and then go to the next one and i guess the bottleneck in that process is like how to move from the moment that i get the thing that i need from you how i how can i close that loop because i need to go to the mm. next one how can i send you somewhere that you can still be part of the process but not just Okay, bye. Next. Right. Because what I'm searching is for that information. Because especially in my project, in this project here, what I what I want, and actually in the project also like in, in Modena is about the interaction with people. So what we want is to hear the what the people want to say. So how can we right. register what people have to say in a technical way you know in a pragmatical way that's what i'm saying yeah i think it's like how I was thinking about this um, installation from Rafael uh, Lozano Hemmer, and it's like a grid of light bulbs on the ceiling. And then there's like a metal, like two metal bars that you hold and it will capture your heartbeat. And the light bulb above you start lighting with that frequency. So it captures your uh, heart, heart rate. And because it's there's like a grid of light bulbs, next person comes, the next person tries, and yours will be like pushed to the next one. And then it just goes on and on and on. So say it again, say it again. So next it captures your heart rate. What is capturing your heart rate? How you the, how you, how you the installation. It? So you hold it to metal. So you have something bars. in like through the fingers somewhere. Yeah, and you just hold it for like, I don't know, 10 seconds or 20 seconds. And it registers how it's pumping, and then it, the light starts to blink with that frequency. So you see that it's you know it's related related to you. And the next person comes, and next person tries it, and it will start blink with the next person's heart rate. But the previous ones is uh, sent to the you know next well, one. So is a Q, yeah, exactly. So it's, a, it's a matrix of bulbs, is it? It's a matrix of bulbs, or I mean, I can the light bulbs, like yeah, light bulbs. So then yeah. it will pass to a Q, yeah, yeah, and it stays there until, uh, yeah, the new. There's I don't know, maybe like hundred light bulbs. So we need to come back to the to the like it's gonna finish. Yes, yeah. I think I will sleep soon, but let's wrap up in the next one. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I'll just finish it. Uh, do you hear me? Yep. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, you're typing.
So tell me what I have to do. <laughs> <laughs> so you construct the the installation with light bulbs. No, um, but the way the the reason why I said it is, I like you know how everyone's data is like acknowledged or the involvement and you can track it really and because it's like narrowed down so much that you don't lose the information and that's really nice and if you yeah. try to elaborate like if it's about telling a story then you know there's a lot of complexity to it well i could but, but, more, I mean, things like and because that's there could be something that i mean because i i have i have the I have the the i have the sensor i have with me, um, but just that will like just that chunk of building something physical. It's um, yeah, that uh, that can become like a a whole thing. Yeah, totally. That will be you. That will be for instance something totally that doable. Like if you will be here, you know, because then then we could do it, and mm. now we can make it work somehow. Uh, oh. yeah but i just wanted to say this example because you know we need to think about the spectrum of you know like or like what kind of information you want from the the visitors audience and yeah what do you want to take yeah i don't know so how I think that should be like this and some dancing with headset. What is the kind of information that we want to gather for people? Um, or like it could be something like like fluxes kind of stuff, like like Yoko Ono would. Well, she has some works that, you know, they start like a blank installation and people, visitors can just draw on it. That's also nice, you know, like, again, people can leave something and then it's still visible to people. Not that we have to do it, but, um, and it's no, I that's a nice thing. Yeah, no, I, and I totally, I totally follow the idea. Yeah, like yeah. that. I mean, I think um, so I guess from what I don't know yet. How to start like going in, in yeah, how what is how what is is what does yeah what what is that I want from what mm -hmm. I show what I, what I, from what I share with you, so is that is something interesting, but what I want with that right right, yeah, that is interesting with that, but then what is that I want because so I want to so that the that people perceive somehow like the it's basically almost like it's, it's like it's a trickery so it it is there um but what is the feedback that i want from that mm. right this is yeah Yeah, so it, it should be slow. I guess it's, it should be bit before, like more close to your cards. So in 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 that. So so mm. that, that's it. I mean, that's the, the beauty and the problem with your cards, no, is like your cards work because they evoke, but also they technically wise, they just go everywhere, because there is not a clear purpose in that. It's like um right. And 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 so that's like the beauty of 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 what the card does, in terms of usability. Of you want to put almost like as a to sell the cards, you know, just like to sell yeah. the cards, is um is a problem because they don't have a clear purpose. Right. So, um, yeah.
yeah, there's no end goal. And one could be like, you know, make it sell to sell it and make it like collectible or make some kind of game that you can play with it. That's another thing. I mean, it can be both like Magic the Gathering kind of, or Yu-Gi-Oh or whatever, Pokemon cards. That's why they're successful, right? Yeah, because there's a clear, because there's a clear, clear purpose. So yeah, so it should be seen. So I think the game. I think a game. You know what? I think this idea of the game or how to approach a game. Like I think playing is important. Yeah, I think yeah. a game. Yeah, playing. Yeah. And then yeah. is the, and then defining what is that. Um, right. In your case, let's say it's a ritual. Then what is this ritual for? And the ritual can have different purposes, right? Right. It can be like, you know, talk to someone who's dead or you see your future or i mean that's kind of a nice thing you know you see your future because the projection can be the future <laughs> like how you did it or it can be the past but um or they can define what they want from the ritual But what am what is it that I'm stuck now? What do you do with what your setup? So I'm exp I'm experimenting with different ways how I perceive basically how to perceive a body in a space and time, and that could be interesting in different ways depending of setup um but that's showing something mm -hmm. i mean that's uh i i and i want to to involve the people yeah you don't have to agree but i found it's really interesting that you cannot use a candle i mean i totally agree why but, you know, like if you have a ritual, it makes sense to have a candle, but you can't have it. And I thought this is something can be like used as a metaphor of, you know, virtual object or you know, virtual or real. Because it's, you know, if you light a candle, you just have, you can light a candle. Wait, give me a sec. I, I, I'm yeah. All... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what, what you're saying? And then, like, for example, like I was thinking, you know, people like, some people like to show like a fireplace, but on the screen, which is, doesn't do anything. It doesn't make it warm, but some people do it just for a decoration. Or it can be a candle with the LED, which is, I mean, it, it serves a purpose, it's light. But what does it have, it have to be shape of candle? I, I'm just thinking because I just noticed that. I mean, in the note, you said that you cannot use a candle. But this is interesting. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like the, like the it can be interesting or it can be not. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but that goes to the I think that goes to the, to the place of content to and to developing a content like that. Um, mm. But it can be 
just you know i mean you worked you did the video with your setup but yeah like what else can you do with that setup with a glass of water and i don't know apple and projection what else can you do what else that? in the video i mean with what you have on that like not to bring something but what else you can spill water <laughs> or i don't know like just just saying but you know you mean like but what what in the, about the action or about the setup meaning um, the cameras and these things well like just keep the setup and what kind of like interaction that you can do with the setup that okay. so you find something like with a video loop what else can you do with it and but then recording that like so a different like interaction with the with the setup yeah i mean like interaction like just do whatever with you know whatever you have just do whatever <laughs> you can just throw apple or throw water on the floor <laughs> i mean they're not probably they're not really happy about it but you know just because i feel like now you're trapped to what has to do what you know the purpose of object or like the purpose of this yeah like you know kind of affordance yeah like video no, has to be that's... this way or object has to be this way no i know and this is good that you mentioned because then i don't want i mean because then I, then i get trapped in that then right. then it means that i have to stay on this forever and what i'm trying to find is more like a way to work around um yeah more a way of dealing with setups to create a practice because what i want basically is i guess to 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 to, to start practicing on something yeah um so i think we have one element that i found interesting in terms of that but then in in a, that practice that i want i want interaction to yeah i want people's interaction which i mean which already now is a problem because i don't have people to interact so i would have to virtualize that somehow um and the nice thing we did with a workshop is we ask people to bring something that's true like and, and or what it was like uh really smart from that is like the the, the does the evoking something was through the through the bringing something uh, everybody has something that was theirs yeah Um, but so that represents already that threshold here now like then uh, so how to do the uh, how can they get engage maybe they don't need to have a game maybe they don't, do they need to have a, be engaged maybe not all of, maybe not all of them they need to be engaged no it doesn't have to be for everyone yeah That's true. But if someone feels like engaged, then they should have good time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they should be suffering here. Because that's how you kind of respond to their engagement. And if it's, so, if it's say in the in the simple way, say if 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 it's in install in installation, what is the purpose of the installation? Or what the installation will be?
what if said it you explicitly put like I don't know three tables with water and cups. Not really. Yeah, with really the problems with that COVID and different things. But then you put water and cups, and you put three tables, and you allow ten people to go inside. There is a video of somebody pouring water and drinking water, and maybe bringing. I mean, doing things with the elements. Mm. Um, and maybe at the same time, then people are invited to do the things that they are suggested in the video, but also do what they want with the elements that they, they see. And basically I'm following the same structure that is basically, then will be me changing the the feet of what is projected. And one of one or maybe two of them will be live, the people in the space. So then it's like, I think this somehow I, I start seeing that that's, something that I think we have experienced it. I think is that uh, when I did this also like yesterday, like in, in two, three hours, like without really knowing how to work with this, is by trusting. As we, I think we know really, we really know how to work with the streams, like to live streams, like to just right. go uh, and with layers, you know, to live streams and composition, basically. Uh, mm -hmm. Image composition. And uh, by the way, it's nice that you start doing the, the Hydra image uh workshop i saw i saw the first one great i, saw it. I think that's, that's what i think that we have experience in doing that like in working mm. with an image like the mm. composition but it's in, i think it's empirical we haven't really like slowed down and trying to understand how is that we understand what we understand and that's the point that i think the place that we are right now and we are trying to share it somehow so then going back to the exercise i think I see me us also also more like me that uh, if you are for instance in the space I I I think I would like you more doing that, and then I will take in more the role of like BJing or like I see more like as a video jockey where you basically you are changing yeah you're doing the yeah the, you're being a vid, video jockey mm. you are so instead of like putting the music you are just selecting what is that you are showing. Right. But then I think with the setup, we need to do something that is, if it's just showing the video, and someone doing live, it's it can be obvious or it can be, I don't know how to say. I feel like something is needed, but not adding an element to this setup. But someone has to do something weird. I have to do something weird in this yes, setup. Yes, and that and that's you. Uh, and that's you um or like both like in the in that role like uh that we can mm. be in and out but like originally i think the way i see it i think could be more like then you would be in in the space mm. um and i will be also but more like taking that role of changing things and i mean and that that gives the possibility to take it as complex as as we want in terms of like choreographies and structures but um, it should come by just practicing first, because like right. this, like by start like the start how we, the the way we start seeing in my head is like almost like a play, chess playing. You're playing with you're playing with pieces, and then based on one the 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 widest footing, then you move the black one. So there is this constant um, uh, chess playing. Um, um, where you know in advance more or less when you know in advance in which direction could go um, and I think that's something that certainly we can go for in January uh, also I think that could work in, in Slovenia also um, 
But what I'm thinking is that originally here, I think should be, it should work, it should work just by the installation itself. Like, you know, like the element of a, of a person doing something, it should be minimal. The, the installation itself should portray that. And if there is the need to speak about what is, and you just said literally before, basically you 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 put down, calm down expectations. Like, you know, at the beginning, that's something that I thought with somebody, like especially with technology, then you said, what is this, what is not? And, and then people are just chill, you know, then there is. And so I think in, in this will be more about it can go, it has the potentiality to become like a, a, a full chess playing something like glitched with uh, Petri dish things in different ways. But then I think it should be also understandable and immersive from an installation, basically installation based setup. With, yeah, could be with some instructions. But the, but the installation is still, it must touch on the evoking, you know, like on the, it, it must go to the immersive place. Mm. Because all, otherwise it becomes just an installation. Like the point is still is like to evoke. It should it should go to the, the perception of reality, like to evoking something. Um, yeah. To, yeah the aspect of the reality and to question reality in terms of time and space, it should be there. So over position, like, so feedback. So all these elements of feedback, time in future and past, it should be there. You know, I mean, in, it, 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 they must be included in the concept at least, like it, they, they must be in there. Right. Yeah. Well, now I'm really stuck with the water. So I'm just keep thinking like, just keep like, like water is just in my head, but, um, but that's, that itself is interesting. You know, you could think about the sensation when you drink water and it can be different after running or playing sports, you drink water, or you just drink water while you're working, sitting on a chair, and you know, sometimes you drink water. If that's different, or is it a hot day? Is it winter? That like, you know, just drinking water carries a lot of different experiences and is it something like well just thinking because this is like what I'm just trying to think like do I want to make a reference to your experience of drinking water or is it something that because it's virtual reality it's something that you drink water having the same sensation of drinking water but in a impossible way like, how is it to drink water, zero gravity? I mean, it's impossible for most of us at this point. Or how is it to drink water while you're drowning, which is not really fun, probably. Oh, that I don't want to think too much. So how, how and when to drink water? Yeah. And then, then the question, because I mean, that's something could be like literally that is, it could be asked at least like in this stage, like to the person who is like, I mean, this, in this case is me, like uh, um, how and when are you drinking water? Mm. Oh, what is that water coming from? What is the glass yeah. coming from? Yeah. The dirty. Yeah. yeah. And you have like a memorable moment of drinking water. Right. I 
Uh, okay, let's. Uh, I will let you sleep. You have a sleepy face, but let's talk tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, I really, really like uh, start enjoying this this conversation, and hopefully, then I I do something. I think I will try also to play today. I will try to record with three sixty video, or like mm. just, or maybe a photo actually, only on the space. A photo, and then go in the virtual space, project that, and record myself in that doing. You see what I mean? Like take, taking a picture or a video of a 360 of the water, uh, then the action of the, of, the, of that, then... Uh, you watch uh, it with a VR headset. VR headset. Then there would be the VR headset. Then project what I'm seeing with the VR headset there in the main stand in the screen while I'm recording all the uh, scene. Mm. See what I mean? I think I get it, but isn't that like a lot of coding you have to do? No, like, no, because I just, has, I just have to record, transfer the file in the, in the, in the VR headset, and then the-, the I can just view it. Yeah, and then you can yeah. view it to the directly to the to the screen. Yeah, true. Yeah, from I, I tried before. Uh, I mean, just projecting what I'm seeing and it works. So it should work. Um, because I was thinking also that could be something that might be interesting. That uh, you don't have a three sixty camera with you there. No. I have two like here. I like, should have. You'd have well, had... like, but we did we didn't know you would stay there for. I don't know how many weeks. <laughs> that would be actually because that's something that I thought already that something could be interesting. Like the because I could be I could be projecting you here, you know. Yeah. Or, or or in the project or in Slovenia also. I could ask around if someone has a 360 camera or I can borrow it from someone's where like work workplace or whatever. Because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of 360 cameras that are not used. <laughs> Yeah, because I think through that, I think that the, I think the 360 is an easy way to go through the VR. I mean, for me, I thought like even before that, I thought like projecting on a dome is kind of a first step that I thought originally I would like to research. I did not at the end, but like in the in in the places that I've been in the last few months or for things that I saw, like or the way how my body felt, I thought dome. Project with the 360 projection and then getting as an audience, no, like in a dome with 360 projection being there, uh, for the body, how much it takes. Then after that, start playing with the immersion of VR, but in um, 360 videos, so something that is really still and not uh, digital environments uh, or CGIs. And then after, like just working with that, um, so. Because it because it has this uh, the the real element in it, the real thing is there. Yeah. Um, so it's something that people can relate. Like it's a it's a video of the space. Like you don't have to go to. Um. Okay, we'll see how what happens today. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Interesting times. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, just like one thing, like it's I think it's good to explore different things, but like 360 camera would require a specific setup, right? Because if it you have things on the table, it's probably not the most interesting thing to capture with 360 camera, or like you have to like arrange it so that you know the table Maybe you put the camera on in the middle and you have to kind of make a landscape around it and people can come and you know that becomes part of this 360 environment. Like basically um, somehow you have to make you know a new perspective. It's not like it's something that you see the stage, but the stage is surrounding the camera 
that the stage is surrounding the camera, like that the camera is in the middle. Yeah, because that's yeah. the purpose of it. Yeah. yeah. And like if you decide to work with 360 camera somehow, then then you have to think about this kind of like, you know, the stage design basically that works with 360 camera. And it can be a good thing that you that already gives some kind of constraint of the scene. I'm, I'm just saying. Um, I, I I even haven't like uploaded yet a 360 video on the Oculus. So I need to see how yeah. I think it's because I never have I've never worked with this format. But in terms of file management, like I tried, I put other things in the Oculus before. But uh we'll see. I will try, I will try something. But yeah, I didn't thought of what you said, but it's true, of course, like the the purpose of the 360 camera is to record the 360 environment. The way I was seeing that it was more recording basically my actions, say like drinking the water. Yeah. Yeah. It's a camera. But then the, like the purpose of the 360 is lost. Like if you just go look somewhere else. Um but maybe this is interesting to explore. Yeah. So just just not yeah, like just this process of you know capture it, see it in 360, like I mean VR headset and just try another thing and just construct, you know, what's interesting for the 360 and viewing in VR or dome or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. True. Yeah, thanks, thanks for that. Okay. And you can Let, you can have fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then let's talk tomorrow. Okay. Yep. Ciao, bro. Thanks so much. Yeah.